Hey, what's up everybody? Josh Cathcart back here at Hardball Academy in Pearland, Texas. For this next instructional video, drills video, I'm gonna talk about hip coil and load, both the process and then give you all some drills to work on this, okay? Loading into the rear leg or rear hip is a phase of the swing that a lot of young players either have not been taught, aren't physically capable of, or in some instances, just forget to do before they swing, okay? Getting the body prepared to swing is critical, okay? We have to do it early, we have to do it on time, okay? When people talk about loading, we hear all sorts of things. We hear transfer weight, we hear get your weight back, we hear sit into your legs, all these different cues. We need to be very careful when doing that because if taken literally, it can cause problems for kids. If I just get in here and transfer my weight, that means I have a shift back and then a big shift forward. And I don't want my hips getting into this sliding motion, okay? This doesn't give me very good balance. This doesn't give me good stability through my swing. What we want to do is what's called a hip coil, all right? And it's basically locking this rear leg into the ground and getting our glute ready to fire, okay? Get into the lower back also. But the way that this would look uh, face on is instead of having a drift, we are gonna have a sit and coil. Okay, this rear hip is actually gonna work kind of back away from us. We're gonna see those hips start to turn and close this front side off, and it really starts to engage that glute on the back side. Okay, we should be able to get up and hold this position. If we can get right here and hold that, then we know that that hip is loaded properly. If we just go straight up, we feel like we're gonna crash down. If we get rocking back, we get off balance there. Okay, so really being able to coil down and talk about screwing your heel into the ground on this backside as we get into this. Another thing to look out for is when players start working on this, they have a tendency to really get into the shoulders and the upper body and they get this going instead of just in the hips. Okay, so something to look out for. So hip load is extremely important. We gotta have balance, we gotta have strength. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into these drills. All right, y'all, so for this drill, this is going to be our med ball load drill. Okay, again, dealing with the hip coil backside load. Okay, I like the weight of this. It's gonna help players stay on balance with this. Okay, very, very simple one. All right, just start out in your stance. Med ball up here just like we would have the bat. Now I have a light one here. This is only a six pound, okay? Bigger, stronger kids, increase that weight, okay? It's basically gonna be doing a one-legged squat. We just wanna make sure that we're not getting too far down in our knees again. That's gonna make us wanna come up. We wanna make sure that we're getting that good coil. All right, so the way this would work, I'd like to start with my feet closer together. This is gonna make the move easier. If you get further out here, that load becomes a little more difficult for the younger kids. Okay, so feet here, looking at the pitcher, go ahead and set your shoulders right. And then we're gonna feel that coil back and down just a little bit. And then that front leg's gonna come up, hold, and then simply stride to launch, okay? Right here, this is where we wanna feel this. Be able to hold that balance position with that coil. If I just go straight up, I'm gonna feel like I'm rocking. If I just bounce down, I'm gonna feel like I wanna jump up, okay? The whole idea of that coil, screw that back heel into the ground and have that moment of balance, all right? So that's your med ball load. All right, drill number two for this hip coil video, okay? This is going to be our open hip coil, all right? Y'all have probably seen the open 45 drills and people coming back like this. It's just a slight variation on that, all right? You want to set our back foot where it would be in our normal stance and you want to leave it straight on this way. We don't want to start getting in this direction and we sure don't want it pointed back here. Okay, so the back foot pointed where the catcher would be. Front foot, just like it says, open to the field. My chest is to the field. Everything set to the field. And then we're going to coil back onto this back leg. As we get into that coil, that front leg is gonna come around, and now we should be in a good power position to get into launch. Wanna hold that on the backside, 
So the full wrap would be here, coil, hold, and then through your swing, okay? Be nice and controlled with this. You do not want to get players into this and have this going on. We're going to get too much upper body rotation, which is going to make it where it would be awkward to be looking at the pitcher. Keep your eyes to where the pitcher would be, slow coil and hold, and then through your swing. All right, so that is your open hip coil drill. All right, this next drill that we got for you, this one I like to call baby steps. Again, you've probably seen this one out in the hitting world. This is a really good one for players that when they load, they have a tendency to raise the body up. So we would be here and you see them and they wanna come up to this. You don't want this big up and then a crash down. We wanna to try to keep the eye level about the same, maybe even drop it just a little bit as we get into the load. So baby steps, you're gonna start out wide and up tall, okay? And then I'm gonna bring this foot, this front foot is gonna work back. And as it does, I'm gonna slowly start to work down into my coil. So it would be small step, down, small step, down. And then that third one, at this point, I feel a really good stretch. That rear glute is engaged. And now I can go ahead, lift the leg, and make the swing. Okay, again, make sure that you are paying close attention that we're starting higher and working slightly down and that this hip is working back, okay? It's not get back this way. As we come down, a little bit of coil, that head's basically in the same place, and then here and through the swing, all right? So for the hip load, that is your drill, baby steps. All right, y'all. So that concludes the video on hip coil and load, all right? Extremely important aspect of the swing, getting into the rear leg, having control of the rear leg so that we can control the forward move into launch and get the most out of our swing, all right? I hope these drills help. You can incorporate these with players of any age that have a difficulty getting into their hip or that are trying to develop the strength in that rear leg for hitting. Again, I can't stress enough the importance of this. It gets everything in the right position from the get-go. If the load is not on time and proper, very difficult for anything else to come out right. All right, so again, hope the information helps. Like and subscribe to the Hardball Academy YouTube channel, and we will have more videos coming at you. Y'all be good.